Now, if you're wondering why trees are being cut down on the highways, well, it is a measure intended to ensure your safety while driving throughout the state. The Mississippi Department of Transportation has been in an ongoing process to remove trees that are dead and now dying due to a drought this past summer and fall of 2023. MDOT officials say the trees now present a danger to drivers traveling throughout the state. MDOT says those dying and dead trees form numerous threats as they could fall on the roadways, damage power and utility lines, and they also become fire threats. These trees are in the right of way, so they're very close to the roadway, and they do pose a threat of falling on vehicles or in the road, so it could cause accidents. So we're just trying to make sure uh, these trees are not a threat to our traveling public at this time. Well, because we started this uh, work on I-220 and, and the work is still ongoing, the cost to MDOT at this time is over $6 million just in District 5, which includes Hines, Madison, Rankin County, stretching uh, eastward to the Alabama border. MDOT says the Pine Belt area received the most substantial damage to the trees due to the drought in 23.